Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. I have the cards all shuffled and ready to go so we can get right into your reading. Spirits, what's happening with Taurus? Okay, Taurus, let's see, we have the Strength card, the Knight of Wands, and the Sun. Okay, so there's someone coming, rushing into your energy with the Knight of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and... Um, I have Leo energy strongly with the strength card, but I'm seeing someone come rushing in with a message. And this message is going to illuminate everything for you with the sun card. Any questions that you have will be illuminated. I feel like this is going to make you very happy. What's happening with Taurus? Yeah, someone's coming in to bring truth. I have the Ace of Swords. Truth, communication. And so I'm seeing you here left to make a choice. Because I have the Lover's card here. I've got your energy as the Queen of Pentacles. And so there's someone rushing in here, illuminating everything bringing truth, bringing clarity, and so you're left with a choice about a connection. This is a person that I feel like you have a lot of love for. I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini energy. What's happening with Taurus? This is someone who has felt like, has felt stuck in a way, like their hands were tied up in their head about you, and I'm seeing them coming in with an emotional offer of love. This could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're coming in wanting to offer you their love. They're They're wanting to work on this with you. This person sees you as the empress. So they're very, very attracted to you. They find you very beautiful. Um, there could ha be something to do with a baby here. doesn't have to be. And then I have justice. So you could be dealing with a Libra. I'm seeing like this person wants to give you your justice. They're wanting to illuminate everything and come with truth. And then I have the King of Swords and the High Priestess. So they're, they're making a decision. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, Pisces energy. Um, they're making a decision here to come and tell you whatever was hidden behind the veil here, whatever secrets there were, this person wants to give you your justice. I'm seeing you like completely everything being illuminated with the sun card. And it's taken this person courage to do this. Okay, we're going to find out why this Knight of Wands is here. This is this person rushing in with a lot of passion. I have the Moon and I have the Star. To clarify this Knight of Wands, this Messenger. Again, they want to bring, they want to illuminate everything. 
They want to heal everything and they want a new start with you. Whatever's hidden, hidden from you with the moon card, I'm seeing it being revealed. That's what this person's coming in to do. And then I'm going to clarify the sun <laughs> to see what this is. What this illumination is. Why is the sun here? Okay, so to clarify the sun, it's telling us <clears throat> with the five of pentacles that you're going from blocked communication to where you weren't seeing everything and there were secrets to a lot of fast movement, a lot of communication. And this communication is about this three of cups. This person wants a great celebration, a reunion with you. <clears throat> and now we're going to clarify this Ace of Swords. This is truth. Yeah, they're coming. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I have the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Coming in with an emotional offer, telling you how how happy you make them because you make this person very happy with the ten of cups cutting off the blocked communication wanting a reconciliation okay and then to clarify the queen of pentacles this is your energy male or female I have the King of Pentacles showing up here. So now we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles, a matched pair with the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. This person is ready to take off the blindfold and build a stable foundation with you. They want to build a stable foundation with you. And I feel like with the moon card here, like you're not going to see this coming, but it's showing up at the beginning of this reading. And then we have the three of swords and the fool card to clarify the lovers. So the lovers is a choice. And the choice is, is... With the Three of Swords and the Fool, this person's wanting to release this Three of Swords, this pain, and have a new start with you with the Fool card. This is someone who has a lot of love for you, Taurus. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Page of Cups is this person showing up with an emotional offer. Yeah, they've made a judgment call. They want to offer you their love. Someone who has, this is someone who does have a lot of love for you. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Nine of Wands, Six of Cups. This Eight of Swords, this person that's been feeling stuck, like um, blindfolded, like unsure how to move forward. They're coming in here like, like they're feeling a lot of depression, a lot of sadness here around you. They keep thinking about you. And um, I guess I shouldn't use the word depression, but this person's really up in their head about you. They feel like exhausted, worn out. They keep thinking about you. Um, they keep having memories the, of what you guys did together in the past. And they want this back again. 
they see you as the empress, male or female. So I'm going to clarify that now. Why is the Empress here? Yep, here they come with an apology. Looking at you with an apology. Okay, and then I'm going to clarify this Eight of Pentacles. This is them wanting to work on this with you, Taurus. They, they want to work on this relationship. Yeah, they're finding this um, no contact, this heartbreak to be a very heavy burden on them. These secrets. And so they're, they're like standing at a crossroads here and um, choosing a new path. And the new path is to come and bring you truth. They want to end this, this pain. Why is justice here? Let's see why justice is here. Okay, so to clarify justice, I have the Eight of Cups. This is someone who walked away, or you walked away from them. And then I have the Page of Wands. They're wanting to start a new beginning with you. This is someone who has a lot of passion for you, Taurus. Yeah, they're telling me here that they're willing to fight for this. That you are their wish fulfillment. And then um, let me grab you some angel cards. What does Taurus need to know? Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So it looks like there's going to need to be some forgiveness here. Because we do have the Three of Swords showing up here. And then we have Soulmate. Yes, this is your Soulmate. And then let's get one more. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And I see the two of you just taking a break, taking a time out, going off together and having a retreat. And they're saying heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And I'm seeing this person is showing up with honesty, truth. They want to give you your justice. They want to illuminate everything with the sun. Show the world the real you. Let me just get one more. And a win-win outcome is forecast. And they're telling you to look at the bigger picture. I think I got both of these cards with my Pisces reading. So you could be dealing with a water sign. And they're saying um, emotions are running high. Okay, Taurus. So those are the messages that spirits have for you. I hope they help. And I hope they bring you clarification so that you can look at the bigger picture. And thank you so much for being here with me, liking and subscribing and getting me coffees and everything that you guys do for me. Thank you so much. And I send you all of my love, Taurus. Bye-bye.